Parkour. So yeah, um, I, I got the knife back. If you have absolutely zero idea what this is, um, what this means to me, and how I lost this, uh, potentially you didn't watch the last video, that's okay. We'll get there in time. We're not gonna recap too much, but this is, this is a cool story. So before we dive headfirst into the knife, um, I'm actually gonna go fishing. I'm just gonna investigate some skinny water very close to my house. Uh, it's like a small river. I guess where two rivers meet. Cool little creek small mouth. Cool. See you, buddy. So this small creek system or river system, I've never fished before in my life. So my goal is just to get bit, if that makes sense. I'm not targeting anything specific. I'm just trying to investigate is there fish in here that will bite? And while we do that, we'll talk about the knife. Oh shoot, oh shoot, I got this fish hook behind this like bridge piling thing. Oh shoot, <laughs> get out of here buddy, get out of there buddy. <laughs> oh that was sweet, he was hooked behind like this bridge piling thing. Beautiful. Dang. So whether you've seen last video or not, you know um, this is my grandpa's memorial knife. Uh, this was given to us uh, after he passed away. It has his fingerprint ingrained on it, um, and then it says grandpa, the year he was born, and then the year he passed. Now, like many of you know, um, you see on social media, Instagram, I, I basically carry this and use this everywhere I go. Uh, I clip it in my pant pocket, and it's, yeah, it's, it's my little side piece. Last Thursday, uh, I was doing kind of a corporate photo shoot at this lake. Um, we'd fished all day long. I came home, knife was gone. Long story short. Better one. <laughs> A 
little bit better one. <laughs> These little creek smallies are so mean, dude. They're so mad. <laughs> this is such a special treat. I don't get smallmouth around my house ever. Like the lakes just, they don't have them. But some of the creeks do. Wow. All right, see you, buddy. Freaking cool beans. Oh my gosh. I never catch smallmouth around the house. Ned rig. Ned rig strikes again. That was like deep up under that tree. Oh, that was freaking cool. I was about 100% sure I lost it. And then three days later, Boom, I got tagged in a bunch of stuff on Facebook. This kind guy had found it and he was trying to return it to its owner. And I was like, hey, that's mine. That's, that's my knife. Uh, this kind guy named Kyle uh, and I kind of transferred some messages back and forth and uh, I was gonna go pick it up over his lunch hour at his place of work. And um, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did. Oh, oh, better wall, oh, that was a big walleye, that was a big walleye, no, 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 that was a big walleye. That was a big walleye. Once again, I cannot thank um, Kyle enough for putting this out there on Facebook uh, and trying to return it to its owner. And like you guys know, this knife is not just a pocket knife. This means a lot to me. And for Kyle to do that, I felt like, I don't know, I wanted to give him something back. Even though he wasn't looking for anything in return, I wanted I wanted to give him a little, a little something, right? So after kind of creeping his profile on Facebook, I tried to figure out is he more of an ice fisherman, a pan fisherman, a walleye fisherman, a bass fisherman? Does he like open water more? Does he like ice fishing? Is he more of a hunter? I tried to just learn a little bit more about him and he didn't have too many photos on his Facebook so it was hard to gauge exactly what he was into. Very next cast. <sighs> Very next cast. Ned Rig, beautiful, beautiful creek walleye. I don't even know if you can call this a river. It's kind of like a very small river. Oh, Freaking beautiful day. Usually, I would knife this fish so fast. This is a beautiful eater, but I still got some walleye in my freezer, so he gets the pass today. <laughs> You're so lucky, buddy. He gets the pass today. I don't know if there's a pot of fish in there or that's the same fish I hooked before, but when they're in the current and it's like you're fishing, but there's so many obstacles. I've got this like old large piece of cinder block in front of me. There's a fallen tree to my left. There's a bunch of rocks right out in the middle. So like you kind of have to play them, right? Cause you have a small hook, but you kind of got to horse them a little bit in between you know, the obstacles to freaking land them. <sighs> Brand new river. Brand new creek. 
small mouth walleye. Boom. It was awesome. So this is kind of what I settled on um, to give back to Kyle. Uh, I know he's an awesome dude and he just, he would probably just need a handshake and he'd be good to go, but this is, I wanted to do this. I, I know he didn't need this, but I wanted to do this. So before I met up with him, I shot up to Clam. It's kind of the corporate headquarters of Clam and all their umbrella brands. Uh, one of their umbrella brands is Blackfish and uh, it's quality performance outdoor gear. I figured since I didn't know too much about him as an angler or a fisherman or what he was into, I could at least get him a nice gift card for quality gear. And yes, I paid for this gift card. Um, they didn't give this to me. They didn't know about this whole story before I had asked for a gift card from them. Uh, but yeah, I shot up to Clam, got him an awesome Blackfish gift card. That way he can buy some sweet gear kind of going into this fall season, winter season. They make, they make a whole variety of gear for all types of temperatures. And um, I figured that way, that way he can kind of treat himself with potentially some gear maybe that he wouldn't have. And uh, besides that, I wrote a little IOU slip for a day of fishing, either on his waters or mine. Um, so some quality gear, a hefty gift card, and uh, yeah, a day of fishing, which we'll do potentially this winter and the spring, um, or maybe next summer, whenever, whenever we work it out. But I felt like that was the least I could do to repay him for going all the way out of his way and uh, posting this on the internet and, and bringing it back towards me. Holy balls. I'm freaking pumped up. Oh, anytime you catch fish out of skinny water, it's freaking money. I am not a fly fisherman. I don't aspire to really get into fly fishing. I'd like to get better at it, but I get it, right? Like, especially those guys that love fly fishing, small hidden creeks, small rivers, just hand-to-hand -hand combat, close quarters, fishing around you know, obstruction. I get it why you fall in love with it and it's addictive because I love creek fishing, especially in the spring and fall. And that's, that's what we're in right now. We are in beautiful fall weather. Fish on. Fighting like a freaking four pound bass. <laughs> oh man, this is a freaking riot. God. I mean, this is no five pound smallmouth. This is, this is, you know, maybe, maybe two pounds, but God, they're so mean and they fight so hard. Oh, look at that. Look what's in his mouth. A crayfish, you can see it. Oh, that's so sick. I'm gonna let him go so he can Hopefully eat that crayfish. That's why they're smoking the Ned Rig and that little jig I was throwing. They are gorging on crayfish. Wow, I should have almost taken it out of his mouth so I could see it. That was freaking sweet. They are gorging themselves on crayfish. So when I went to pick up the knife, um, like I said, it was at Kyle's place of work. I didn't want to shove a camera in his face. I had no idea if he had seen the videos or um, uh, kind of knew what I did or anything like that. So I wasn't just gonna pop up on him like paparazzi, like, hey, you found the knife with a camera pointed at him. I, I don't ever like to do that. I don't like to shoot a camera at somebody who doesn't know it's coming um, or who doesn't, you know, feel comfortable. So I just I just met him in person and uh, he's an awesome dude. He, he has some cool fishing stories of, of different up north trips that he's done and just kind of solo camping trips he's done. Uh, way up at some northern resorts and it's I don't know he was just a really awesome down-to-earth dude that loved fishing just like um just like the rest of us just a guy part of the outdoor community doing the right thing um that loves the outdoors and uh yeah I can't thank you enough Kyle so the knife has been returned and as you can see there's been some modifications done to it 
So after I got this back, I basically made a pact to myself. I will never lose this again. Uh, like you know, this is just kind of the belt clip. Not the belt clip, or the pocket clip. I'm still gonna use that, but I bought some paracord, a couple little O-rings, and a carabiner. So even when it's in my pocket here, I don't know how well you can see, I can also clip it right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but Steph says it looks dorky, but I would much rather be dorky than um, <laughs> than lose this knife again. So that's that's the modifications. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, you guys who tagged me in his Facebook post on Fishing Minnesota. Um, like I said, I'm blown away with how the community can come around for even just a small, simple good idea um, and get back a really meaningful item. Yeah, that was lost. I don't know what else to say other than thank you. So yeah, this was, this was kind of the wrap up of the story. Knife gone, knife found, knife back. And also some awesome fishing on that creek. Are you kidding me? Like, what? Smallmouth, walleye in my backyard? There's, yeah. So, good story, good fishing, and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you're having an awesome fall. And uh, yeah, I guess there's none left to said. Stay tuned, and as always, let the adventure begin. See you. Oh my pretty babe, something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead.